Hey guys, today we'll talk about energy flow. And by the end of this topic, you will be able to understand the following. Food chain, food web, carnivore, herbivore, omnivore, and decomposer. So let's start. First, we'll talk about trophic levels. All living things require energy in order to stay alive. There are different models that are used to show the flow of energy. The most common models are food chain and flu apps. And we'll talk about each one of them in more details. In an ecosystem, energy flow from producer to consumers and then to decomposers. To understand the relationships between these organisms, scientists organize the living things into food chains. A food chain describes how energy in an ecosystem flows from one organism to another organism. Like this one, it starts with the grass and it's the producer, then we have the rabbit, then we have the fox. Almost all food chains begin with producers such as green grass, but do you know why? Because plants can make their own food during photosynthesis why animals cannot make this because they don't have chlorophyll inside their cells now let's take another example of food chain this one starts with the grass so the grass is the producer then the grasshopper eats the grass and it's called herbivores do you know what do we mean by that we mean plant eater then the bluebird eats the grasshopper and the bird is second level consumer as you can see then the bird is eaten by a snake and the snake is called carnivore and we mean by that meat eater or its third level consumer as you can see finally we have the owl and it's a plant and meat eater animal now when an animal dies the decomposers like bacteria and fungi break its body into nutrients that help the plant in its life and this is the cycle of the energy flow now we will talk about food web food web is a group of food chains that combine together in an ecosystem, as you can see. At the end of this topic, answer the following questions, please. First, what do we mean by food chain, food web, herbivore, carnivore, and finally, compare and contrast between decomposers and producers. Thanks for watching, and if you have a question, you can ask me. Stay home and stay safe. Love you guys.